Welcome to Electron Line. Let's do another example of a torsional pendulum. Here we have a string or a cable and from which is suspended a rod and that has two masses at the end of the rod. The mass of each of those two small masses at the end is 0.4 kilograms. The mass of the rod itself is 2.6 kilograms and the length of the rod is 1.2 meters. We're trying to find the frequency of oscillation back and forth and the period of one oscillation. We know the equation that we're going to need is as follows. The frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of the torsional constant divided by the moment of inertia. So let's first find the moment of inertia of this pendulum. So the moment of inertia will be equal to the sum of the moment of inertia of the two small masses plus the mass of the rod. So this would be two times, and the moment of inertia here, that would be uh, m times r squared, and r would be half the length. So it would be m times l over 2 quantity squared. That would be the moment of inertia of the two masses, plus the moment of inertia of the rod. It is 1 twelfth the mass of the rod times the length squared. And that's because it's rotating about the center of mass of the rod. Now let's find out what that's equal to. I is equal to, that would be 1 over 4 times 2 or 1 half ml squared plus 1 twelfth big ml squared, which is equal to 1 half times 0 0.4 times the length is 1.2, we have to square that, plus 1 twelfth times the big mass, which is 2.6, times the length, which is 1.2 squared. So that is equal to, okay, starting out with this, that would be 1.2 we squared at, times 0.4 times 0.5. And we add to that, that portion, which is 1.2 squared, times 2.6 divided by 12, equals, and it happens to be, the moment of inertia, exactly 0 0.6. The units will be kilograms meters squared. That should be a 2, and there it is. All right, now we can go ahead and find the frequency. The frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of we're given the torsional constant at 0 0.001 divided by the moment of inertia of 0 0.6. All right, so take the inverse of that times 0 0.001, take the square root, divide by 2 and divide by pi, and that gives us a frequency equal to 0 0.0065 hertz. And that would be our first answer. Now, the period of, of motion, that would be the period is equal to 1 over the frequency, which is 1 divided by 0 0.0065 hertz, which is, take the inverse of that, and that gives 154 seconds. So the period of oscillation is 154 seconds. Now, that's, of course, a very long time. So assuming that we have a string or a, or a cable or probably just a small wire that has a torsional constant of 0 0.001 newton meters per radians, which is fairly small, and we set this, this pendulum in motion, it'll swing back and forth very, very slowly. It will take a complete 154 seconds, which is about two and a half minutes, for it to go back and forth one single time. And that's how it's done.